My name is Aziz Abubaker and I'm the Tutorial Fellow in Biology here at Lady Margaret Hall and I teach genetics and cell biology to undergraduates all over Oxford but mainly to students here at LMH. So the main interest in my research group um, concerns regeneration. Um, regeneration is an aspect of biology that affects all our lives. So as you walk around every day you'll be incurring wear and tear is kind of the polite way of putting it but you'll be spraining your ankles or absorbing UV from the sun or eating food that's bad for you um, and so in the course of your daily life you have to repair your body um, and this is done essentially by a group of cells called stem cells which all of us have so we try to study how those cells um, allow animals more broadly all different types of animal to regenerate and we focus on studying simple animals which are really accessible to experimentation and we study how their genes control their stem cells to allow regeneration. So while humans can't regenerate limbs, lots of animals can. So for example, um, amphibians, different types of amphibian, you can actually amputate limbs and able to regrow their limbs. Other animals like the worms we study, you can actually decapitate their head and able to regenerate their heads and their brains in pretty short order. So we use these animals as model systems and try to understand how regeneration works with the hope that we can make some progress in understanding how these genes and the things they do can be applied to, to human disease processes. So for example, many human diseases, aging for example, and all the diseases associated with aging are caused by stem cells stopping working as we get older. So by studying animals where they work really well, we hope to understand how we might want to improve things in our, for our own biology. Biological sciences at Oxford is just a superb degree. It's very broad. It covers the full spectrum of biology from evolutionary and theoretical biology right to the biomedical sciences, um, understanding human disease processes. So you get a very broad grounding in biological sciences. I think the other reason is access to just world experts in every aspect of biology, to be taught by people who are leaders of their field. Um, across the whole spectrum so that you can go into as much detail as you want in any aspect. I think that's one of the big advantages of coming to Oxford. I think LMH is a microcosm of, of biological sciences at Oxford because of the breadth of subjects studied here um, by different biologists. So you have myself who's very much a, a molecular person. You have Professor Edgen Thomas who studies whole organisms and the biomechanics of flight um, and really doesn't like genes at all. Um, you have professors um, who are associated with the college, like David McDonald, who's the director of Wild Crew um, and is one of the leading conservation biologists for large mammals in the world, if not the leading um, conservation biologist. And so to have these people and their colleagues around LMH makes an amazing environment to study biological sciences. Um, so it's a large subject to LMH. We take a lot of biologists. Um, and I think you can pretty much come and do whatever you want here um, feel supported right through your career, not just as an undergraduate, but we have students who come back as graduate students, and even as postdocs and faculty, they maintain their contacts with the college.